is up guys it's Mike it's my boy and welcome to my youtube channel and most of all welcome to the third playthrough of my uh, gothic 2 playthrough the path of Balear. this picture ep episode we're gonna go towards Unas farm explore the city of Corinna's a bit to a bit of a couple of quests and uh, walk my way towards the uh, on our farm so that we can, uh, can start those episodes as well with completing all the quests over there so without further ado guys let's begin so first of all I need to find a alchemist take care of everything bench. For everybody. don't tell this to anyone these are bad times. I'll do that along the way. You do know you know the way? Don't no, tell this to anyone. He knew better. Hey, you! Do you That's really think? Terrible. Okay, let's go. That's Where? You can do about it. To Onar's farm. Then let's go. Follow me. Really, Don't tell how me interesting. You Indeed. These are bad times. And he's going to get even worse. And he works all day, too. Now that's too easy. No, just give me a second here, uh, Loris. Gonna make one murky mushroom, not to give to Aubergine, but uh, to give to one of the uh, buggers on Onar's farm. But Adonis saw that order and chaos were now unequal, and he bade Enos to take his divine power from the human. I've heard a thing or two. You don't say. And that's the truth. That's not what I heard. What I heard is, is that if bird is the word. With my own eyes. That's what I heard. Say. Just give me a second here, Lars. I need some, uh, some swamp weed. I'm not quite sure how many I need, but, uh, two should suffice. Still need to find another one of those beasts. Yeah, you take care of the little beasties, and I'll loot here. Still need fire nettle, but I can find those at the monastery. Well, near the monastery. You don't need me. So much for you, filthy beast. Filthy beast indeed. I need two more wolf skins and then I can deliver those to Bosper. Oh. 
I know nothing about picking locks. Totally forgot that I don't have lock picking yet. Oh well. It's not really that important. You already know that. I've got no time for things like that. They all ran like rabbits. I was completely wrong. The things I could tell you. Now you gotta wait a bit longer, my friend. There are lots of loot out here. the arrows etc but hey free stuff is free stuff nothing to be had there So that boy the stuff. I will talk with that man later. So, here we are. So, the rest of the way you can manage alone. I have to get back to the city. I've got a few things to take care of. Just follow this road here. And remember, stand up for yourself and don't take any crap. And it'll be smooth sailing. Wait a minute. Uh, he doesn't have the option anymore. Oh dear. It will come back at some point, but... At least I hope, hey? Look who's just turned up. The fellow who brushed me off so blatantly. So we meet again, eh? You're just in time. Who are you anyway? That's none of your business. If I wanted to tell you who I am, I'd have done it already. Got it? What do you want from me? Are you still having problems with the city guards? I'll give you problems, you punk. I'm looking for a fellow. He isn't anywhere to be found in the city, and these losers here don't have a clue either. He's thin, dark-haired, and he usually wears red armor. As far as I know, he used to be a prisoner in the colony. I think his name starts with a D. Is his name maybe Dexter? It could be that that's his name. I'm not sure. I probably only know when I see him. Anything else? Yeah, you big mouth. Is there something else? I need weapons, I need provisions, and gold wouldn't be bad either. Gold? We all want gold. Could be. And what would you do with it? Drink your way through it in the tavern, or blow it in the brothel if I'm any judge. And you have a better plan, huh? You would crawl under a rock if you knew all I've done. So none of that cheek, or I'll shut your big mouth for you. Didn't you find the weapons dealer in the city? You can't be serious. They only have junk. Weapons? The mercenaries have weapons. Ah, interesting. I heard that the fat farmer Onar had hired the boys. <laughs> Not too bad for a landlubber. Not a bad idea, but I really should pay them a visit. Provisions? You're in a tavern. The stupid barman won't hand anything over unless you pay him for it. Here's ten gold coins. <laughs> you poor sucker. You can keep your dough. I have a better idea. There's a cave not far from here. I've been around here before and I buried my stuff in a few places. The cave is too dangerous for me alone. I want you to help me with it. 
We're gonna do that later, sir. Tell me that isn't Let me first loot this area. That was no big deal. Who are you? Well, I'm Orlan, the keeper of this here modest tavern. What are you looking for, stranger? Maybe a decent sword or a, a good piece of armor? A good swig from the country stills or uh, just some information? I can give you all that and more if your coins ring. Am I being paranoid or are you staring at my ring? Well, I'm not quite sure what to make of that. No idea, you tell me. Man, I belong to the Ring of Water. Do you now? Hard to believe they'd pick such a moron. What do you want? Do you know that fellow with the eye patch? I've seen him here before. Nasty piece of work. Back then, he moved into one of my upstairs rooms, along with a huge crate. He had to be constantly that. nagged about paying the rent for his room. Been known a long and even time. then, he took his own sweet time about it. He thinks then, it one day, he vanished. Yeah, just like that. <laughs> Along with the crate. I, agree with you uh, I don't want anything to do with the likes of him. It had to happen sooner or later. How Nobody much do you charge for a room? Me. For a brother of the ring? That Nothing. No big Here's the key to the upper rooms. You pick one for yourself. I never knew that. Show me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. Will it ever change? Now I only took that option, you know, to show you guys that there's exactly literally zero XP. Because uh, the other option, if you say, you know, it's an act marine ring, I've you ever no seen one before, like it will give you XP. Because uh, the really only thing that problem. this ring of water has, get away with that. you know, as a um, that was must rule. It's speaking to no one well, about it, true. which I just failed because I told him. To. But no, but that's he right. insisted he knew better. And there's more, believe me. I'm just selling some junk here. It's been here, known a long time. It a bit. That's no secret. But no, he insisted he knew better. You How's it going with your tavern? Times have been better, you know. People's purses aren't it's as open gossip. as they used to be. I'm staying out of it. Because money is scarce, man. Is it really true? The wealthier the people, the more they will spend. But some people way. just don't get that. Don't want to shit your fucking that chair. Was no big deal. That's not what I heard. Nobody Free stuff. Free stuff. Don't tell me you didn't know that. And that's the truth. Is the beer any good here? It's not exactly not the I best, heard. but in these bleak times, you can't be choosy. That's no secret. What are you doing here? Up until a few weeks ago, I was slaving away on the landowner's fields. One day, it just got to too much that. for me, and I took myself out of there straight away. Dude. Now I'm my own boss. Everything I own is in this chest here. Just have to That's all I need, too. Interested in a little contest? Off myself. What kind of a contest would that be? I call it bottoms up. The rules are quite simple. We take turns ordering a tankard of the best beer the old geezer has to offer. Every tankard has to be drunk dry so that it doesn't even leave a ring if you set it on the table upside down. The last man standing wins. The loser pays the tab and the stake. Well, how about it? Maybe some other time, when I'm not in a hurry. That's been known a long time. Could I bet on someone else, though? Certainly. If you finally manage to find someone with the guts to go up against me, then I'll bet with you. Everybody pays the same amount into a pot. The winner gets everything. The size of the stake depends on your purse. You can Bring me someone it. who dares to go up against me and you've got a bet. He thinks it's as easy as that. Did anything else of interest happen? Nothing amazing. Not that I know of. Nobody tells me anything. I'm staying Gee, out. I wonder why. Alright, so let me get That's three wolf skins in the upper rooms. I'm staying out. As well as uh, a couple of items which I will pick up Nobody later once I know how to me. open chests. 
had to happen sooner or later. Is it really true? No idea, you tell me. That's all just gossip. Do I, I don't have, have to tell a... That. No. Okay, I don't have a sleeping spell. Don't tell. So let me quickly go to the monastery to get myself a fire nettle. Which grows near the entrance of the monastery. So I can deliver the plants to Constantino the alchemist. <laughs> Hey, you! Enos be with you. What can I do for you, Wanderer? Where will this path take me? The path leads to the Monastery of the Magicians of Fire. However, access is permitted only to the servants of Inas. If you want to be accepted as a novice in the Monastery, you must bring a sheep and... a thousand gold pieces. What are you doing here? I am a magician of fire. A priest of our god, Inos. This shrine is consecrated to him, the highest god, the creator of the fire and lord of justice. People come to me in order to pray to Inos and be blessed. And for a small donation, you can get many useful things from me. Show me your wares. Nice stuff, man. Yeah. May right. Inos watch over you always. Beautiful goodies. Beautiful. Useless, though. I have to keep one for a, uh, another tobacco. But, uh, that is uh, for uh, when we are back in the coding. <laughs> <laughs> Damage. Scavengers. And my blade is 65 damage. And that's not even enough to kill a, a darn, darn scavenger. But that's mostly because of my uh, one handed weapon handling capabilities, which is still a beginner. But that is for later because this guy goes two handed. Once he enters the monastery he will get himself a staff. And uh, with that staff he will train his two handed capabilities. Right so since I've got the fire nettles. Let's uh, head uh, once again towards Greg and uh, go on this little cave hunting.
I'm a poor bugger. I need to bury a Balear shrine. So I can sack some HP for some gold. Alright, hey Greg. Let's visit the cave. Come with me. Aye aye, Captain. Let's go, pirate. One less monster around. Got a damage though. Yeah, that was almost goodbye world. Oh fuck! I don't find plenty more. Alright friend, here's the cave. And here's a pick for you. I buried the stuff somewhere in there. X marks the spot. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. What about you then? Someone has to guard our backs. And now, in you go. Aye aye, Captain. Even those gobos do quite a nice amount of damage. Statuette, which was stolen. With it, we can uh, join the uh, monastery of the magicians of fire without the need to pay the gold, because uh, it's either pay the tribute and not being able to deliver the uh, the statuette, or get access into the monastery for free by uh, getting the statuette and use that as a tribute. them to Greg, yes they will die, but I will lose the XP, which is not really that, not that bad. Still 
two of those bad gobos. I'm level 29, guys. Or something like that. And I'm having issues with gobos. Oh, I'm level 9, my bad. Alright, I had enough of this shit. Oi, Greg, make yourself useful, eh? There's another of those scum One less monster around. I didn't want to drink the mana potion. Oh well. But I'm just level 9, not 20. I think I was uh, getting confused with my Gothic 3 player. What are you waiting for? Go inside and get the stuff. Yeah, yeah. Because uh, at the current moment, as soon as I'm uh, uploading this one. You guys might have already noticed that I will up be uploading the deep part of Venus of Gothic 3. I'm still, no, but not by far done. But um, it will be done at some point, of course. Currently, with Gothic 3, as I'm recording this, um, about Galdon, I think it was. So that's uh, not that that far, you know, not that too early in the game either, but with alternative balance, yeah, yeah. Uh, I think I've found something. Ooh, a bag of gold. The world's corrupt in gold you trust, my friends. What took you so long? Found anything yet? Yes, I dug up a small bag of gold. Give it here. There were 25 gold pieces in it. Here, take them. Great, so they're still there. You're not all that useless after all. Okay, listen. I've buried even more, and I want you to get it for me. Let's see. There's an islet in the small lake with the two waterfalls. One of my caches should be there. There are two more spots where I buried something further up, in the high pastures. One spot is behind the farm up there, and the other one's next to the entrance to the pass by the waterfalls. There are stairs leading down from the fields of the farmer up there to those of the landowner. There's another cache in the hollow where the stairs end. I'll wait for you at the crossroads by the landowner's fields. Don't fail me. You'll regret that, Buster. You don't say. Well, peace out, Mr. Greg. Peace the F out. Nothing to plunder. One less monster around. Oh, 
Alright, so that sure took a lot of food out of me. Oh well. sure whether I'm strong no enough deal. to uh, challenge the lurker. I agree with you completely. I do need to get to that, that though. No big deal. One of the uh, treasures of Greg. Nothing. Nothing to be had there. I think I've found something. Um, shall I first go to Bengal farm? Or shall I learn first the bitch about haunting? Let me first kick Buster's ass. He is connected to Onar's farm. Let me let me go to Bengar's farm. See if I can. Uh, how much gold do I have? Two hundred. Mm -hmm. It's not gonna be enough, most likely. But mm. yeah, let me let me check if I can handle the boars. Check relatively quickly how much a better bow will cost me because uh, I do need some ranged capabilities. And since I've not joined the mages yet, but magic no, is still out of question. You better. I've got no time for things like that. Show me your wares. Certainly, brother of the ring. That. He really should have known better. Seven hundred. A card for myself. that. I only need six wolves. It had to happen sooner or later. Uh, just give me a second here to see anymore. what I can sell. You can't rely on that. That's not what I heard. Yeah, not not gonna be enough. He thinks it's as easy as that. 
And I'm gonna work. Thanks. I can't help him. That was no big deal. We also have to wait a bit till it's nightfall. I could evade them. <laughs> Until I have uh, a bit more confidence in my own character at the moment, because, uh, you know, at the moment I die relatively quickly. But I only go here for Greg's treasure. Well as uh, to prevent, you know, the next episode of Onar to contain a lot of uh, side exploring like this area. Bring it, Mr. Lurker. You're gonna die. Deaths. Four in total so far. about four times five times I want to just add five just out of uh, security just give me a bit here to heal and then I will add the death counters to the death counter tab I'll just add five just to make sure I've got all of them, but I think I died four times. Or, you know, I better be sure they're sorry. But man, oh man, did that lurker whoop me ass. Where's the bugger? Little buggers kick my ass. I could have used FH, you know, but then I would have added a lot more deaths to uncertain. 
which happened with luck and uh, the only reason why I resurrected is so that I don't have to redo a whole lot cost me five lives well, well four but I added five just to be on the safe side but man oh man these lurkers these scavengers all these buggers are still strong despite the fact that I have a 65 damage blade Oh, don't tell me that lurker got regenerated. No, he didn't. Good. Nothing there. Surely gun that cost me a lot of potions. Will it attack on its own? Let's see. Then I can handle this. Come on, ladies bugger. yet because I'm pretty sure he's gonna whoop me ass so uh, I will only make use of it when absolutely necessary what do you want come if you don't want to ignore me then come come now you little bugger come Another one of those scummy beasts. Kick his ass, gun. One less monster around. You're pretty strong, man. Now remember that the death counters 8 is in chapter 2, not not in chapter 1. Well, it is for as soon as I'm gonna enter chapter 2, I still am at chapter 1, these numbers right here will be counted towards the ones here. And that will indicate, you know, the, the numbers of deaths that I had in chapter 1. And once I reach chapter 2, this will reset it to 0. So that I know that how many times did I die in chapter 2, in chapter 3, chapter 4, etc. Right, again. Hey! You've got a lot of space up here. It's nice enough. But if you go through the pass back there, you won't think so much longer. <laughs> if this little tract of land has impressed you, then wait till you see the Valley of Mines back there. Why are you looking so solemn? You're wearing our aquamarine ring. You belong to the Ring of Water? I certainly do. Good to see a new face in our ranks. What's your task within the Ring of Water? I keep an eye on the entrance to the pass to see who goes in and out. Since the paladins have closed the gate to the pass, however, there hasn't been much coming and going. Have you heard of those missing people? Of course I have. That's why we're supposed to keep our eyes open. But I haven't seen much that would give you a clue, tell you the truth. Who are you? My name is Gan. I'm a hunter and work for Bengar, the farmer here on the high pastures. I spend most of my time here outside, basking in the sun. Or in the moonlight. What do I need to know about the Valley of Mines? No idea. I'm only taking a fleeting glance at the valley. Look pretty dangerous. 
The best thing to do if you go there, through the pass, is to stay close to the beaten track. Either you take the way through the big gorge or the road over the stone bridge. That one is shorter and safer. Now that the orcs are roaming all over the place, you have to be a bit careful. I don't want to have to drag you to the Herb Witch. Herb Witch? Her name is Sagita, and she's the healer for the farmers and the other people who live outside the harbor city. A truly curious female. No one really likes going to her, and everybody enjoys gossiping about her. But if you're sick, you won't find better help than Sagita and her kitchen full of healing herbs. You'll find her in the strip of woods behind Sekub's farm. Can you teach me about hunting? No problem. For a hundred gold coins, I can show you how to gut the animals you bring down. Pelts and other trophies bring a lot of money in the market. Here, one hundred gold coins for your expertise on gutting animals. Thanks. Now you're talking. What can you teach me? That depends on what you want to know. Everything that you could teach me, my man. The best way to remove the wings of a blood fly is with a blow from a sharp knife very close to the fly's body. You have to watch out you don't damage the delicate tissue of the wings. They're worthless if you don't do it carefully. That. These flies have a soft spot on their backs. If you press there, the stinger will be squeezed out very far and you can detach it with your knife. That. Animals don't like to give up their claws. You have to place your knife very precisely. Your hand should be slightly crossed, then you separate the claw with a powerful tug. Merchants are always eager to be paid in claws. That depends on... The easiest thing to take from an animal are the teeth. You move your knife around the teeth in its mouth. Then you separate them from the skull with a skillful tug. Thanks, man. What can you... T At the moment, I can't teach you anything you don't already know. Sorry. No problem, man. How's the hunting? The last animal I could bring down was a large rat. Not very encouraging and bad for business. For several days now, some kind of snorting beast has been roaming the area. It not only kills everything that moves, it also interferes with my work. What does this dangerous beast look like? I don't know exactly. Up to now, I mostly heard grunting and scratching. But I've seen what it can do. Even wolves aren't safe from it. The beast even bit the head off of one. How much would you pay me if I killed that beast for you? I'd give the person who killed it everything I could spare. 30 gold pieces. He's referring to the uh, dragon snapper. Snorting dragon snapper. Where does this scummy beast come from? Somewhere from outside the woods. Maybe from the Valley of Mines. But I don't know for sure. I've never been to the Valley of Mines. How's the hunt? The last animal I for it. Let me fry up some meat. Where does this path lead? Behind the gate lies the pass to the Valley of Mines. We're on this side. On the other, a few orcs have dug themselves in. It's better if you go back. You cannot get through here. And what if I go at my own risk? Then you will die. That's why we're here, so that you don't get such stupid ideas. Have any bandits passed by here lately? No idea what you're talking about. 
As long as we are on guard duty here, nobody passes, and certainly not any lousy bandits. Ask those peasants back there. Maybe they've seen something. How's it going? The area here is extremely dangerous, so you should turn back. We certainly don't want anything to happen to you. Alright, so let's get the X mark on that side, which is uh, guarded by a couple of lurkers, so this is going to be interesting. Let's see if I can, can divide them. then uh, the damage is nice but uh, as long as I'm on 10% the crits are gonna be rare come then bugger I think I've found something. So let's go to Bangar's farm and get that one. Come on, little bugger. Although fighting them costs me more than I actually get in return. But I do get XP, which is more important. strength to uh, get nothing there strength not that I need a hundred the max amount that I need with the staff is about 80 max but the more strength he has the more crit he does so I get it to 100 But if I wanted to, with Heights of Power, you can get it up to 300, 
uh, without heights of power you can get it to about 200 which means uh, 200 strength 200 dexterity 200 mana I'm not sure about mana though I think mana is m possible to get more but strength dexterity for sure has a uh, limit of 200 in vanilla 300 in heights of power you're the farmer here you could say so but I'm really just a tenant all the land here is owned by one big farmer How do you make a living? Mostly hunting and the wood we cut. Of course, we also raise sheep and work the land. O&R saddles me with all these laborers and I have to keep them busy somehow. Only a few of them are good hunters, you see. Has anything strange happened around here lately? Many strange things are happening these days, but none as strange as the mysterious disappearance of Pardos. He's one of my field workers, and certainly not the kind who would drop everything overnight and slink off just like that, you see. What exactly is so strange about his disappearance? Pardos is such a timid sort. The furthest he's ever been from the farm is to the end of my fields. He would run away at the mere sight of a meat bug. Those things may not be pretty to look at, but you really couldn't call them dangerous. They say there's people who eat them. Gross. You get used to it. If you have nothing to eat, my friend, you will eat the ugliest bugs alive. Maybe he was simply fed up. Working in the fields was his life. I cannot imagine him having gone to work for another farmer. With me, he could do whatever he wanted. Any clues at all? I think those bandits must have dragged him off. They've been roaming around this area for days now. I once saw them drag a citizen of the town off to their camp. It looked like they were gonna make him a slave. Where is this bandit camp? At the far end of my fields, some steps lead down to a small hollow. That's where they have made themselves at home. I'd like to go look for Pardos there, but there's no way I'm going up against those guys. And you would better give them a wide berth too. They're not known for their sense of humor. Neither am I, my friend. Were the bandits carrying weapons when they passed by here? What kind of stupid question is that? How would they be bandits if they weren't armed? I mean a whole load of weapons, a big delivery. I see, yes. Now that you mention it, they were carrying lots and lots. Some in barrels, some in bags, and some on the cart they brought. You're employing day laborers? Onar sends away the workers he can't use on his farm. Then, he sends them to me. I feed them and they work here for me. What do you think of Onar? <laughs> He's a greedy bastard who'll get us all hanged in the end. One of these days, the paladins will come out of the city and make us small farmers bleed for what he's doing here. But I haven't got a choice. The militiamen only come here to collect and not to defend the farm. If I held myself loyal to the city, I'd be very much on my own. At least Onar sends some mercenaries now and then to see how we're doing. I see. What have you got against the royal troops? It's obvious. There hasn't been any improvement now that the paladins are in the city. Just the opposite. Now these cursed militiamen come onto our land even more often and steal everything they can. And the paladins don't do a darn thing about it. The only paladins that I've ever seen are the two guards at the pass. <laughs> they wouldn't budge an inch, even if the militia slaughtered us all. The pass? Yeah, the pass to the old valley of mines by the waterfalls at the other end of the high pastures. Ask Malik about it. He was there a couple times last week. I say, well, thank you for the information, sir. Uh, I think I've found something. Alright, so where is the hunter guy? Well, where's the sheep guy? He 
He's still standing out. Yeah. Look at these guys literally standing all day. Boring existence. Everything all right? Yet another day laborer who doesn't know where to go? No problem. Talk with our farmer, Bengar. What are you doing here? I'm the shepherd here. It's not exactly a demanding job. But now and then, you really have to watch out. Especially if you get too close to the pass. What do you know about the pass? Not much. Just that it leads to the old Valley of Mines that was surrounded by the barrier until a few weeks ago. Back then, the only thing we farmers had to be afraid of was the monthly caravan that took all kinds of goods to the Valley of Mines. Those cutthroats often made life difficult for us out here. Where can I find the pass to the old Valley of Mines? Near the two waterfalls on the other side of the high pastures. What is it they say about the Valley of Mines? All sorts of things. Some of the boys say they've heard screams at night. Some have seen strange lights over the mountains. But if you ask me, it's all just old wives' tales. I don't see any women here at all. You got that right. This is a man's farm, so to speak. Works pretty well, I think. Have you ever been to the Valley of Mines? No, but I go near the pass once in a while. Then I always see those two paladins who stand around and keep watch. It looks like they're making sure that nothing comes out of the valley. Back then, the Valley of Mines was a natural prison. If you went in, you never came out again. Yup, until I destroyed the barrier. Tell me more about the paladins. How long have they been posted there? A week or two, I suppose. I don't know exactly. Some time ago, there was even a whole troop of them that disappeared into the pass. Since then, I haven't seen them again. Alright, so let's see what we can do with those. A little annoying bandits. Which gonna be tricky because they are heavily outnumbered. But it's not gonna keep me for trying. Alright, so let's leave till morning. Well, I can't promise that it's gonna go well versus the bandits, but I have no other choice but to whoop their asses. The first the scavengers. of milk. Oh, I don't have a fat ham. I'll see at Onar's farm if they have any. I'm gonna rip you to pieces! You're in shape now. Holy shit, that damage.
Mine's the all free. Time that's a bit too much. So let's see how I will fare versus all the other bandits because there's still plenty left. I think about three more. I'm gonna rip you to pieces. Right, let's play a bit of fair game, eh? Deserve that low life. Gold. Okay, that's mine for starters. I think I'll take your weapon for. You're in for it. Ah! that low life all right so it cost me uh, three four deaths I'm gonna add four thinking you can go the way with my weapon But this is the downside, you know, of uh, using Marvin mode. Watch that is alright. Those deaths could have easily be f prevented if I retried the whole process, you know. But F that shit. This isn't the hardcore run. Um, so let's add 4. So that's uh, 12. Certainly die a lot, but that's fine. It's all fine and dandy. Don't know how to open locks of uh, picking chests, so I don't have to bother trying to get them the loot. Thank goodness, the bandits are done for. You have saved my life. Who are you? 
My name is Elvridge. I come from town. Master Thorben told me that you had disappeared. Those lowly scum dragged me off here and were keeping me prisoner. Lots of people are missing in town. I don't know anything about missing people. I can only tell you what happened to me. What exactly happened to you? I was on my way to the rendezvous I had set up with my girl. Her name is Lucia. We had been planning to get away to the mountains and away from the town and all those who live there. I had just arrived at the meeting point when suddenly some of these bandits sprang out from the underbrush and captured us both. I put up a fight, of course, but to no avail. There were just too many of them. You didn't happen to see them. Tell me about Lucia. A girl from the Harbor District. She used to work for that horrible Bromor. She's very pretty. What did the bandits want with you? Sometimes I could overhear them at night. I didn't get everything, but I think they wanted to make us slaves. Where were they going to take you? To a place somewhere here on the island of Corinus, but I think one can't get there without a ship. They brought me to a mooring place on the coast. Some pirates were camped out there. One of the bandits approached the pirates to negotiate. They were having a fierce argument. I think the bandit wanted the pirates to ferry him somewhere along with me, but the pirates wouldn't have it. So the bandits withdrew, and we've been sitting around here ever since. They seemed to be rather at a loss, and then you came. Where's the pirate's mooring place? Not far from the harbor of Corinus. When you stand on the quay and look out to the sea, all you need to do is get a boat and go to the right along the coast. The first small bay you come across is the mooring place I was talking about. Pirates in Corinus? I don't know very much about them. I first clap eyes on one of them at the mooring place. They always stay in the background. Every single one of them is a wanted criminal in Corinus. They're afraid of the gallows. That's why you're never going to meet one of them in town. Bromor says Lucia walked off with a golden dish. Well, if Lucia really stole from Bromor, the bandits will certainly have taken the thing from her. Where's Lucia now? We parted ways at the big crossroads in front of Onar's farm. The bandits dragged Lucia off to the woods behind Sekhob's farm. May Enos protect her. Did the bandits who held you captive receive a shipment of weapons? Oh yes, so many that they could barely carry them. They took the whole caboodle and disappeared towards Sekop's farm. You should get yourself back to town in a hurry. What else would I be doing? I'm going straight back to my master Thorben. Will you go look for the bandits? Well, yes, I think so. If you find Lucia, get her safely back to town, will you? I'll see what I can do. Of course, she's not there, she has joined the bandits. But that's a whole different story altogether. Another one of those things. All right. So much for you, filthy beast. <laughs> it was uh, bucked for a second. Well, at least I got a better bow for free. Not that this guy will train his bow or the crossbow. Uh, I think I found something. But if you can use it, then why the hell not? Certainly help me with a bit of the uh, damage issues. Nothing to plunder.
only gonna go to Greg to deliver the stuff and uh, then end the episode. Nothing there. another death to the death counter so that's uh, 14 already in total in chapter one holy shit Let me first take care of this bugger there. Blank over a second there. Right, so let's talk with Greg. Deliver the uh, the stuff which he buried, and uh, then pretty much end the episode. I'm gonna walk over there so I can do the quest with Buster, kick his ass, and then go to the uh, owner's farm. Hey, you! Look, if it ain't Mr. Unreliable. How are things? So, so. Those mercenaries aren't much help, really. I had expected them to have a little more guts, at least. But they're just a bunch of braggarts and loudmouths, if you ask me. So what about those things I buried? Have you found them yet? What was your business with the mercenaries? I already told you I'm looking for this fellow in red armor. But the idiots here have no idea what I'm talking about. I take it you're looking for someone named Dexter? Damn it, how would I know the fellow's name? Maybe we should go and see him together. I've still got a bone to pick with him. I can handle that by myself. I know where you can find him. Really? Tell me! Not far from here. He seems to be the leader of an evil gang of bandits. Ha! <laughs> yup, that's him. I knew the old land lubber'd hold up here somewhere. Now, all I need to do is scour all the hideouts and rat holes around here. I'll find that bastard, don't need your help for that. I found your buried things. Then you should be carrying about a hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet, and they're all mine. Give them here. Here's your stuff. One hundred gold coins, a golden chalice, a silver dish, and an amulet. Very good. You're lucky that you weren't dumb enough to simply take the stuff and run. Here's your share of the booty. Wow, your, your expression is priceless, man. 30 measly gold pieces. But anyways, guys, I want to thank you guys for watching and uh, 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like what you see, subscribe to my channel, and if you do, hit the notification. And uh, if you did indeed like the video, then leave a thumbs up behind. It will contribute to the unlockment of the uh, hardcore run. And uh, he know about if you want to say something, you know, uh, feel free to uh, use the comment section down below to comment. Things I could um, tell you. Whether it's this game related or questions Nobody of any other different game, me. maybe games that you want to see on my That's channel, no etc. Anything is welcome down below. And um, even know how you know, I hope to see you guys in the next episode where we're gonna go to Onar's farm. Complete the quests there, and then we're gonna business. basically pretty much join the novice. So, yeah, I hope you see you guys next time. And if you it's like what you see, do not forget to subscribe to my channel. And I hope to yeah, see I you guys next time.